Hi everybody, welcome back to Bentley House. I'm Ara, and today I'm going to be putting together a kit for you. It's an Engler Company Designs kit by Lisa Engler, and I contacted her to ask her if I could put this kit together on my uh, YouTube channel. And I'm a little thrown off because I put together half the kit already and I realized I wasn't recording. So anyway, I'm going to walk you through what I've already done. But uh, first I'm going to tell you a little bit about Lisa Engler. She does these um, laser cut kits and they're really detailed, really amazing. I bought this one three years ago with Gomez in mind. And um, so I'm going to link her website below. Make sure to check that out. She is in the process of refilling up her shop. So you may not see this specific kit, but make sure you go ahead and check out what she has and check back because she's going to be refilling. As you can see, this kit comes with three straw hats and that's what drew me to this originally. I remember the scene from the first Adams Family movie where Gomez is rowing a gondolier through this basement cavern to get to their family vault and that's what these hats reminded me of. So I went back and here's a screenshot of that. I went back and watched the movie and realized he wears two other hats during that movie. And so there's one while he's playing with the trains. And he also wears a fez early on in the movie while he's still dressed in his bed clothes. So I'm going to try and recreate those three hats on this stand and it is going to end up on Gomez and Morticia's dresser. And if you remember from my Adams Family tour, their bedroom is very dark, the furniture in there is very dark. So I decided I needed to make this stand so that it could stand out a little bit lighter. So the part of this kit that I've already done that I thought I filmed, but I didn't, I have painted the base. The base comes in four different pieces and then it also comes with this little um, like a doily piece. So this kind of sits on top of wherever the base goes. Um, I don't think you need to glue it down, um, but it's kind of like a little extra in the kit. So that's pretty awesome. So I've already painted these pieces and now I'm going to glue them together. The other thing I did was I just added a brown wash on top of this hat. It says that you can um, add very light layers and I already liked the um, color of the hat so I just added some brown paint to it to kind of highlight the texture in there and whenever that dries all the way I'm just going to take a matte spray and I'm going to spray it down so that that paint stays on there. Okay so now I'm going to use wood glue to glue these pieces together. Everything's going wrong today! Awesome! I just sprayed the hat and this guy is together so while those dry I am going to try and work on the railroad engineers hat and to do that I'm gonna have to kind of mess this one up a little bit and I feel like this plastic is thin and soft enough that I can cut it so I am going to attempt to do that okay so that worked fairly easily and now I'm just going to use some sandpaper and try to sand the straw texture off of it. After cutting and sanding I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, you can still see the pattern a little bit on there but um, the instructions say to do light coats because you can lose the pattern so I think I'll do a heavy coat of black and hopefully that pattern will kind of disappear and if not I can sand it again and then do another coat. Now that I've made a huge mess 
painting this black hat. <laughs> These items are dry, so I'm just going to dry brush a little black and brown paint on there to make it look a little bit older. So after quite a bit of paint rubbed here and there, black and brown, um, it looks more like an aged miniature, one that used to be pristine white but has been used over the years. So um, anyway, I'm happy with that finish. I mean, it's not perfect, but I like it. So now this hat, the finish is done. So I am going to choose a ribbon to go on here and hopefully get that fastened on there with some super glue. So much like the picture, I want the tail ends to kind of hang down. Um, so I am just going to put a tiny bit of super glue on the edges here and force it to hang down. So by doing this, it makes the ribbon look like it has some weight. Fabric doesn't always function in miniature like it does in real life so sometimes you have to force some folds in there so that it will hang correctly. So that hat is pretty much finished. So now I have one hat finished, one hat drying, and the final hat is the fez which I am the most not sure about if this is going to work using this piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and cut off this edge and I think I am going to attempt to put fabric over it. That's going to be my attempt. So here we go. So that worked so-so. Uh, I'm not super excited with the really bright color and what the super glue did to the fabric. So I'm going to attempt to paint over it so it still has this texture, but has a little bit of a darker color. So I may be ruining it, but you know, it's all in experimentation. So here we go. Okay, here's something I didn't know. If you get super glue on your finger and then acrylic paint over that, it doesn't come off. So just an FYI for you. Uh, anyway, I've got the fez covered and painted. I hope you can see that my camera, apart from user error, is also not picking things up very well. So this is my little red fez. And I am going to now take some black embroidery floss. <laughs> Today is just a mess. Oh well. We're still having fun, right? I'm going to take some black embroidery floss and I'm going to turn that into a very small um, tassel and attach that to the fez. You can see the tassel hanging off the side. I'll take a better picture of it so you can see it because it's just not getting picked up on the camera. But that's the final result for the fez. So um, this hat is finally dry. 
I'm probably gonna put a ribbon on it just to give it a little bit more texture and realism. And then I am going to be putting them on the hat rack. Okay, so now that I've finished with all the hats, I'm going to get them permanently put onto the stand. The instructions say to use silicon, but I didn't read this instructions before doing this video, so I don't have any. I am just going to use super glue and possibly get silicon and do that later. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get those on there and then I will take some pictures so that you guys can see it up close. All right, so here's the result of creating the three hats from the movie that Gomez wears, putting them on the stand. I really, really like how this turned out. I think this was a really easy kit to put together. I'm very happy with it. I would definitely buy another kit from Lisa Engler, so make sure to check out her website. Again, that's linked below. And yeah, so I think it will actually look pretty nice on the stand here. So I'm gonna put it inside the house, take a few pictures. That's it for today. I'm sorry it was a little unorganized, but it was still fun putting this kit together, and I hope I see you next time in my next video. Bye.